G'day everyone. In this video I'm just going to quickly show you how an LDR works. Um, it, as far as guitar pedals go, LDRs are used in a few different circuits, the tremul tremulous loons, um, one of them. Um, they're often used in tremolos and you'll see why um, when I show you the example on the oscilloscope. If you don't know what an LDR is, it stands for light dependent resistor and basically the resistance goes down when light uh, when the light increases on the surface of the um, of the device and the resistance goes up when it gets darker this is what it looks like I'll try and get focus on that I think that's about as close as I can get to it without it going out of focus you can see that wiggly line down the middle um, I think there's kind of like a layer of a that maroon colored material is what is actually reacting to um, light and dark um, and obviously, if if that material goes uh, resistance goes down when you shine a light on it, then um, it's going to make that connection between those two um, those two sides of the LDR. Uh, it's going to make the the connection less resistance. So I'll hook it up to my multimeter so we can see um, what sort of resistance we're looking at. And um, I'm pretty sure these were from Futurelec, and they claim to be 5K and 500K. But I've actually measured these in the past. And um, they're, they're nowhere near that. Um, uh, last time I checked, I'm pretty sure they were nowhere near that. Um, so let's hook it up and see what it, what it measures at. So like I said in the intro, this is just basic, um, basic info about LDRs. I'm not getting into anything complicated here. Um, so at the moment, uh, there's, there's sort of a medium amount of light. So let's just pump that up. Usually when you have these in tremolo pedals, you have a um, LED pointed directly at it, in fact pretty much touching um, the um, LDR um, so we can sort of simulate that with my mobile phone um, light, if I point that I mean that's, that's it's pretty bright, it's probably going to be brighter than um, even an LED but you can see that's gone right down to under 100 ohms um, if I just back that off even a bit, you know, 400 back it off a bit more, 1k going up, back off, back off, back off, as you can see as the further I go away, the higher the resistance goes but let's just see what the other end of the scale is now, they did say 5k, but I mean, the, I, the way I see it, the, I don't think these are very accurate devices you know, you, it depends on what uh, are the, the, um, the brightness of the LED that you use and you know, and the particular d test conditions that they've done on the um, LDR um, uh, you know, like when they've tested it for the specs, so you know, you can. Uh, some circuits say that they de that need a um, a light and dark resistance of a of a particular um, value. And in the tremulous loom, I found I had problems because um, this LDR really cranks up. If it's if I've got two LDRs, and I'm hoping this is the future like one, it went up to over you know like mega ohms where it said it should only be um, 500k. Uh, so yeah, I, I had to do something to the circuit to actually fix that um, because it became a problem. But um, yeah, I, I, if if you add a trim pot um, across, this this is actually how I fixed it. If you add a trim pot across the back of it, uh, I think it was a it's actually pretty low. I think it was about a 50k trim pot, and I actually just adjusted it until the tremolo worked the way I wanted it to. So you can do that if the um, if the dark resistance is too high. So this one's actually not too bad. Um, I've just got this cup thing going over the top of it, and it's not even hitting the one meg. So I'm thinking this isn't the Futurelec LDR, and um, this might be the Tadar one because I'm pretty sure the Tadar one says that they're 500k. Let's see if I can find the Futurelec um, LDR because um, that was a totally different story. Could have actually been that the light, I was testing it with the light off in the room, so I'm just going to put the LED, um, the um, screen on so we can see what's going on, switch the light off. And it's still in the killer ohms, I'll just turn these screens off. Uh, there we go, we're up to sort of one meg, and if I put the cup over it some more, look at that, 60 meg over limit. It can't even be measured. So um, this this um, this multimeter goes up to uh, 80 meg before it cuts out. So it's over 80 meg. That's what I was getting on my other on my um, other uh, uh, multimeter actually. So 
you might be sort of thinking, yeah, but that was pretty dark, you know. But when you put it in an enclosure, I mean, you have to put heat shrink around it, you put inside an enclosure, it's going to get up to that dark, um, that dark resistance. So it can be a problem. And like I said, I had to put a trim pot at the back of it um, and, and, tweak, and tweak the, um, the dark resistance because it, um, it was just too high. So that's, that's one way that you can get around that. So now I'm just going to show you um, the, uh, another example of, just the, of, of the sensitivity of the LDRs. I've got it hooked up to a oscilloscope. I'll just move the camera. So I've got this on breadboard. All it is is just a, a voltage divider circuit, um, 25k to gram with the, um, um, with the LDR from plus 9 volts to the resistor. And um, you will see that it's actually pretty sensitive. I was just playing around with this before and um, I, I was quite amazed at how, how sensitive it is to light. Um, so I'll just point the um, camera at the oscilloscope. So on the oscilloscope, I've set it up like this. I've got a one volt division. It's not the best way that I've set it up, but I'm just trying to show you um, to get uh, as big as possible on the screen for you. Down the bottom here is zero volts. Up the top here is nine volts. And um, uh, I mean, you can see that it's already moving around. I haven't even done anything yet. It's just that, that's actually from the shadow of my arm. Um, if I put my finger, the shadow of my finger, um, flick it across the top of the LDR, you'll see that it actually makes um, a bit of a, a bit of a difference in the in the voltage there so we're sitting at the moment it's it's going between uh, 7 volts and 8 volts if I put my finger over it, it goes down to 5 volts if I put the cup back over the top of it like I was doing before you can see it goes all the way down to nearly 0 volts um, so you can see with the tremolo uh, you've got you've got an LED that that flashes so it's like I can sort of simulate this with um, with this cup thing that I'm using here to um, to show you sort of what it's doing um, so if you imagine that this line is actually your guitar signal and the um, cup over the top is um, uh, as I put the cup over the top it, it it makes the tremolo effect sort of like that you know it's not very accurate but you get the idea to make a sort of wall 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 sort of noise so that's pretty much how the LDR works and um, you can either use a Vactral which is like a commercially made LDR or you can just make your own. You just get a piece of heat shrink, stick the LED in one end and the um, LDR in the other end um, and that's pretty much your, um, your homemade, uh, homemade Vactral. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more electronics, guitar pedal related videos, uh, demos and tutorials. Thanks for watching.